So friends, today we are creating this. Welcome back, guys. Without wasting the time, let's make it. Here I have this board image. I have downloaded a texture image and I modified it to looks like a board. If you want this project assets, DM me on Instagram and don't ask me for XML files. First, we need to put all the pictures on the board. Let's add the first image. Now let's adjust this image scale. Now enable the stroke. Change the stroke color to white. Now adjust the stroke size. Does this picture look like the picture on the investigation board? Definitely. No. Now let's make some changes and make this picture fits perfect. On this board, let's apply the page curl effect to the picture layer. You can find this effect in 3D section. Now here adjust these values as I shown in the video. You can play with these values for different output. Now duplicate the effect. Expand it and adjust the angle value as I shown. Now enable the shadow. Adjust the shadow size and you can play with these other values if you want. Now let's add a circle shape. Select any color you like. Now adjust its size and position as I shown in the video. Now apply the smooth bevel effect. You can find this effect in drawing an edge section. Let's zoom the canvas a little bit. Let's adjust the radius a little bit. You can also play with other values for different outputs. Now enable the shadow. Now duplicate this layer. Let's change this circle position to other edge. In this way, you need to add the remaining images. As you can see guys, I have added my images and I arranged them something like this. Now add the vector drawing tool. Draw a line using this paths tool. Now go to colors and select no fill. Now enable the stroke. Match the stroke color to the pins color. Now adjust the stroke size. Here I already added the shadow to the line. No need to add the shadow now. We will add the shadow later. Now duplicate the line layer. Select the duplicate one and tap on the edit points. Now adjust the second point position as shown. In this way, create the lines for the all images. As you can see guys, I have created the lines. Here I am, moving all the circle layer to the top. You can select the all circle layers and group them. After the group, move the group layer to the top. Now let's group the all posters. Let's extend these layers duration to 17 seconds. I will start the lines. Animation from the 2.15 seconds. Select the first line layer and apply the drawing progress effect. You can find this effect in drawing and edge section. Now here add the end keyframe. Move one second forward and add one more. Now at the first keyframe decrease the end value to 0%. Now make this animation easy in and ease out. Now let's trim this layer here. Move a couple of frames forward and start another line animation. First I trim this layer here. Now we will copy the drawing progress effect from the previous line animation and we will paste to this line layer. In this way, animate the remaining lines. Now select the All Lines layers and group them. 
Now apply the shadow to the grouped line layers. Adjust the shadow position as shown. Let's decrease the alpha to 80%. Now select the all layers and group them. I forget to add the titles and the stickers. Select the layer and tap on the edit group. Now here add the rectangle shape. Adjust the shape sizes X and Y values as shown. Now let's adjust the position. Let me adjust its size a little bit. Now select any of your favorite color for this shape. Now drag it under the grouped circle layers. Apply the page curl effect. Adjust these values as shown. Now duplicate the effect. Expand it and change the angle value as shown. You can also play with other values. Now let's extend this layer duration. Maybe we should drag it here. Now add your text. Place the text on the sticker. Let's fit the text perfectly on the sticker. Now drag it above the sticker layer. Now let's extend this layer duration. In this way, you need to create the sticker and the title. Simply duplicate them and adjust them positions to the next picture. I forgot to add the shadow to the sticker. Let's enable it. As you can see, guys, I have created stickers and titles for each posters. Now come back to the main project. Now add these images to the timeline. Let's hide these layers for a moment. Now change this layer's Z-axis position to 2,000%. Now unhide this layer and change its Z-axis position to 1,000%. Now fit this image into the canvas size. Now let's drag it to under the board layer. Let's increase this image size a little bit. Now let's adjust this image position. Let's unhide this layer. Now change this layer's Z-axis position to 2000%. Now extend these layers duration. Now add the camera. Active the camera. Now add a position keyframe to the camera layer. Move to 2.15 seconds forward and add another one. Here, change the camera's Z-axis position as shown. Now make this animation faster to slower. Now here we will adjust the board layer size and position. Now here add the position keyframe to the background layer. Add one more at the first frame. Now at the second position, keyframe adjust the background image position as shown. Now make this animation faster to slower. Now add the position keyframe to the board layer at the first frame. Move here and add one more. Now at the first keyframe, adjust its position as shown. Now make this animation faster to slower. I am very sorry for not showing the preview. My device is lagging too much. Now move five frames forward from this keyframe and add a mark. Now move something around two seconds forward and add another mark. Move to the first mark and add the position and the rotation keyframe to the camera layer. Now move to the second mark. Now here adjust the camera's X and Y positions according to your poster. Also adjust the camera's Z axis position if needed.
Let's rotate the camera a little bit. Let me adjust the camera's position a little bit. Now edit these keyframe curves as shown. Now at the fourth second frame, my camera focusing the footprint image, so I start the text animation from third second, and I end the animation at the fourth second frame. Select the board layer and tap on the edit group. Let me find my text here. Now apply the text progress effect to the text layer. Now add the end keyframe here. Move one second backwards and add one more. Here decrease the end value to 0%. Now make this animation easy in and ease out. You can also end the line animation when the text animation ends. Now move 1.15 seconds forward and add the position and the rotation keyframes to the camera layer. Now here adjust the camera's rotation a little bit. Now let's here change the camera's position to the second poster. Also adjust the camera's Z-axis position to fit the camera perfectly. Now edit these keyframe curves as shown As you can see guys, my camera focusing this poster at the 5.15 second frame, so I animate the text animation from 4.20 second frame, and I ends the animation at 5.15 seconds frame. In this way, you need to animate the camera for each poster, and also don't forget to animate the text. As you can see guys, I have finished the camera animation for each poster. Now let's finish the entire animation. Move 1.15 seconds forward from the last keyframe and repeat the position and the rotation keyframe to the camera layer. Here change the rotation value to zero degrees. Now adjust the camera's position as shown. Simply bring the board layer in the center of the canvas Now edit these keyframe curves as shown. I have tried flip layer effect to this animation to reach next level. I get the wonderful output, but at the same time I get edge glitch problem. That's why I didn't use flip layer effect to this animation. Anyways, this one also nice. That's it guys. Thank you so much for watching. If you like this video, please hit the like button and subscribe my channel for more videos like this and also DM me your favorite animations that you want recreate with me.